Well, I did have a rather marvellous time, I have to say. Did I enjoy being on the bus with all the school children? Yes, well, I did enjoy it, although I have to say, Stinky, it did seem an awfully long bus ride. Yes, but anyway, it was a lot of fun, and once we got to the zoo, so many wonderful animals. Yes, I particularly did like the giraffes. What's that? He was interested in my hat! Yes, he was. He was trying to nibble my hat, wasn't he? Oh, it's the poppers! Hello, my little poppins, mums and dads, and welcome back to Storytime once again. Well, Stinky and I have had quite the adventure. Stinky's class went to the zoo. So I was on a school bus full of very excited children and some of them were jumping up and down like some of the chips we saw at the zoo. They were that excited and hyped up. Yes, they were very, very excited indeed. And we had a rather marvellous time. We saw monkeys and lions and tigers. We saw all sorts of wonderful animals and I had a wonderful time and Stinky did as well. And he was asking me uh, what animal in particular that I probably like the most, I should say. And I love all animals, of course, but I did uh, particularly like the giraffes. They're wonderful, wonderful animals. And one giraffe was very interested in my hat, wasn't he, Stinky? Yes, he was. He was nibbling the top of my hat. I think he wanted to eat my hat for his supper. Yes, quite funny, I have to say. Well, mums and dads and a Cheeky Monkey Poppets, of course. Today's story is called Zoo House. And thank you, Stinky Dear. Yes, this does look like a good one. And I can tell already it's going to be full of rather marvellous animals. Yes, Zoo House. And of course, very, very fitting Stinky for today, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, the zoo, it's wonderful. You can have your lunch there. And it really is a truly marvellous day out to go and visit the zoo. And I can't wait to go back there again. And here we go, my dear ones. One morning, young Oscar jumped up wide awake, Stinky. He headed for breakfast, but stepped on a snake. Oh, good gracious, fancy that. Waking up out of bed, my dear poppets, and standing on a snake. Yes, I wouldn't like that, I have to say. That would be quite dreadful indeed. Well, I hope that this snake, of course, is a friendly one. Oh, yes, although he's probably not very impressed being stood on. Wait, a snake! That must be a mistake, says Oscar. But then, Stinky, well, there's Oscar there in his PJs and he's running after the snake. I wonder where the snake is off to, I just don't know. But young Oscar, the dear little poppet there, seems quite excited to find a snake in his bedroom. Yes, well I don't know whether I'd be excited. I think I might be a little bit upset. But anyway, and on we go. Right there in the loo, a gorilla or two. Oh look, Stinky, a gorilla on the toilet. Oh no, shoo! Get out of the loo, says Oscar. Over there on the chairs, a pair of brown bears. Oh dear, yes, a house full of animals. Well, my dear poppets, imagine that you have to, when you've woken up, you need to use the loo and you see a gorilla sitting on the loo. That would give you a dreadful surprise, I have to say. And of course, two bears sitting on some chairs as well. Yes, very, very unexpected indeed. Oh yes, and there's one there reading a book and the other one doesn't look very pleased. Perhaps he's a little bit wary of the snake, I don't know. No wait, more bears all over the stairs. Oh, it's a stampede of bears. Look out, Stinky. Well, if you look at the page there, my dear poppets, on the staircase, it is absolutely infested with brown bears. Bears everywhere. Bears on the stairs. Yes, well, they're going to be doing some damage on that staircase, I have to say, because bears are rather large animals and very, very heavy as well. 
I wonder how all these marvellous animals got there. I just don't know. The kitchen was teeming with chimps and baboons, juggling the dishes, the fork stinky and the, what's that, and the spoons. That's right. Oh, it looks like a scene from Jumanji, doesn't it? Where's Robin Williams when you need him? Look at that. There's chimps everywhere, bouncing up and down, and they're juggling the forks and the spoons. Absolutely chaotic, I have to say. Well, where's Mum? Where's Oscar's mum? That's what I'd like to know. I wonder what she's going to think when she wakes up and she sees all these animals in the house. Oh yes! And crammed in the bathroom, you never would guess, an elephant, a hippo and stinky, a rhinoceros as well! Oh good lord! Well we've got a rhino uh, in the, uh, I'm not sure, in the shower, a hippo there, as well and an elephant in the bath. Imagine having that in your bathroom. You wouldn't even be able to open the door. Oh yes, they need to get rid of these animals because of course they do not belong in the house. No, they must certainly do not. And they don't look like they're having much fun to me. Yes, the rhino looks rather squished, I have to say. The last probably best left alone, the lions and tigers all looked quite at home. Oh dear lord, imagine that. Well there's a lion and a tiger there, my dear poppets, relaxing there on the couch and some other wild cats, some big cats there as well in the background. Yes, I'd be quite terrified I think if I went into my lounge room and I saw a tiger sitting there with a lion with those great big sharp teeth. Yes, no, I wouldn't like that at all. Oh, terrifying, even though they are rather wonderful beasts, but still, they are quite scary. I then spied my mum cleaning up all the mess. Oh my Lord, how on earth is she cleaning up that mess, Stinky? No doubt all this madness was causing distress, but to my surprise, instead she smiled well, it seems that our house has gone wild, says Mum. Well, there's Mum there with a broom and a mop and a bucket with quite a peculiar look on her face. Yes, I think she's uh, uh, having some sort of uh, breakdown there. She can't seem to cope with the mess at all. Yes, I think she needs to go to bed after she sorted out this house and sent those animals on their way and definitely needs to put up her feet. Put her feet up, I think. Yes, with a nice hot cup of tea, poor mum. Yes, trying to defend herself with an alligator or crocodile there that's in the washing machine. How dreadful. This isn't a hotel. No, it's not. Or cheap motor inn. They're welcome to stay, but they'll have to pitch in Stinky. Yes, what's that? Are they going to do chores? Well, they very well might. And so we made up a big chart for the chores. First, the elephants would be mopping the floors. Well, there's Mum there, and she means business, my dear Poppets. She has a chart. When Mums get charts, you know she's not messing about. And if the animals are going to stay, they're going to have to pitch in and, of course, do some chores. Oh, yes, could you imagine the mess? Oh, dreadful mess. Mess everywhere. No, I couldn't cope with that. No, I could not. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. But the elephants started to kick up a stink. Oh yes, trust the elephants. As the monkeys splash and splosh in the sink. Oh, there they are there. They're not sticking to the rules of the chart. And they've gone berserk there. The chimps there, if they're having, playing havoc there in the sink as well. And the elephant is quite cross. No, he's not going to have a bar of that. He's not going to clean up the house at all. Well, I have to say, I've never seen an elephant mopping a floor or doing any other sort of household chores. Despite all the chores and the tricks, animals and housework, Stinky, clearly don't mix. No, they don't. Well, there's a couch there that's been thrown out the window. A very cheeky tiger peering in there with a wicked expression on his face. And I have to say, the house looks even worse than it did before. Yes, they need some sort of magic wand or something to get 
those animals out of the house. Yes, it's dreadful. Oh, look at that. And the table has been cut as well. It's upside down. And there's a motorbike through the wall. Oh, yes, it's bedlam there. Absolutely chaotic. Yes, chaos. But we loved our new house guests. Well, they're in a bit of a pickle, aren't they? Yes, they are. We have to make do, make do, which is why we accepted our house, Stinky. They're going to accept the house the way it is. An absolute mess. No, I couldn't stand it. Well, look at that. Dreadful mess. They don't know how to fix it. So because they love their dear animals so very, very much, they're just going to have a ruined house and have the animals living in it anyway. Oh, well, I suppose if that makes them happy, well, I suppose that's all they can do. Yes, that's all they can do. Although it's going to be quite difficult living with all of those animals, I have to say. A zoo! Well, perhaps that's the answer. A zoo! Well, there's Mum there, Stinky. What's that? Is she doing Tai Chi? Yes, she looks like she is doing Tai Chi or yoga there. That's to help with the stress, I'd say. And the house is absolutely ruined but they've decided to turn the house into a zoo. So they have all their beloved wild animals there, and now the house is a zoo. Yes, perhaps uh, with everyone visiting the zoo, they'll be able to raise enough money to fix up the house. Yes, I think they ought to do that at least. They're going to have to keep those tigers locked in. The end, and that was called Zoo House. A very, very funny and cute story, I have to say, about a bunch of very wild and crazy animals all living in a house. Well, fancy that, Stinky. I would not like that at all, would you? No, you wouldn't. Imagine waking up and you had a tiger sitting at the end of your bed. What's that? You'd be hiding under the bed. Yes, I think I would as well. Well, mums and dads and poppets, of course, we have come to the end of story time once again. And I did enjoy that wild and crazy animal zoo house book, I have to say. Perhaps you could read a book about crazy animals living in a house, or perhaps you could go to the zoo. And as always, my dear ones, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, bye.